we're going to make a very easy uh, project. So let's call it KNX Secure Test Bench. And we create the project. It's ready for us. On the ETS itself, you can confirm that the is uh, that the software is up to date. You can also see when the online catalog was updated. I recommend that you check the catalog and you find for the KNX association in the list and you will be able to find the uh, KNX um, secure uh, KNX virtual devices in the list. Actually, the secure devices stand out very quickly because they have this blue shield in the security uh, column. So you can, uh, if you don't have them, you can uh, download them from the cloud. So they are here ready for us to be used in the project. So we can see here the two devices I mentioned before, the push button 0201 and the switching actuator 0203. So everything looks good. We are going back to our project and switching to topology. And I am going to now open the catalog and add the two secure devices. So, and then you will realize two new things if you haven't seen KNX Secure before. I'm now dragging and dropping the first secure device. And as I try to include this device in the line, ETS picks up that this is a secure device. So it is a requirement that a project with secure devices has a password to access the, uh, the project. So then if you didn't set a password, you need to do it now. We do it. And the next thing is that you need to add the device certificate. Uh, you can see now this rectangle in uh, grayed out is my uh, webcam, but I'm using the webcam for this presentation. So normally, if you have a QR code, you can place the uh, QR code in front of the camera, and then it's quickly added into the project. Uh, now, instead, we are going to use the, uh, the string. So let's type it down. It's quite a long string so it's definitely the qr code is much better voila success so our first secure device is included you can see the blue shield is representing the KNX secure capability of this product i'm now adding the next device Again, ETS is requesting the device certificate. And success. We added, we have now our secure devices in the ETS. If you click on the device in settings, you can see if secure commissioning is activated. You can also add the devices first and you can include the secure certificate later. So you can always come back to each device and click on add device certificate. 
All right. Now we have our devices. Uh, this, the 111 physical address is our push button, and the 112 is our uh, switching actuator with eight channels each. We are going to make a very easy uh, group address just to link the secure communication objects. Okay, so like with a standard KNX device, we drag and drop. You can see again that blue shield representing that this group address is using a KNX secure. You can, of course, combine in a project uh, group addresses that are secure and group addresses that are not secure. We do the proper with the switching actuator. And there we go. So our ETS project is ready. Now we can open our Kinex virtual and we'll transfer the programming into the virtual devices and see how it works. So I'm going to now start the KNX virtual. So you see here uh, the first pop-up window is just to set up the communication between KNX virtual and the ETS. Say OK. And this is the KNX virtual environment. You can always go to ETS pass connectivity and confirm that, yeah, as an interface enabled and you can test it's working all right. Good, we go back to our project and uh, we are now going to transfer the uh, or download the physical addresses and uh, application program. The push button is the device D1. This is in the list I showed you before. And the switching actuator is the device D3. And this little black square here is in fact the uh, programming button. So let's start. I'm just gonna reset to make sure that it's clean from previous events. Okay, so we are going to download the uh, individual address. And we click the programming button. And we can see how ETS is programming the device. Actually, if you open the bus monitor, you will see all the traffic uh, taking place. So it's still downloading. And it looks like successful. Good. And now we download the application program. And we can see the progress here, like if it were a real KNX device. So this is the advantage of working with virtual. You can test all these features without the hassle of setting up a real KNX uh, installation. Okay, our first device is ready. Let's do now the next device, the switching actuator. We are going to uh, download the individual address first, the three. Access, almost there. Okay, 
And now we are ready to do the next download. And our test bench will be almost ready. All right. So you can even check the uh, programming flags. Everything looks good. We are going to change to our uh, diagnostics panel, the monitor. We are going to start the recording. Okay, so where do you check now these devices? You click on View, and then there are plenty of options that you can play with. Now we are interested in data security. So these are the secure devices. D1 is our push button with eight uh, eight channels, eight uh, buttons, and our switching actuator with uh, eight channels as well. So if we press here, uh, it is sending the one, the uh, on off, in this case the on, and we can see the light on the channel one switching on, and we can now test the off. So you can switch on and off, and you can see in the background, let's now change to our group addresses. You can see the traffic in the, uh, or taking place in the KNX virtual bus. So with this, you can actually see how the uh, KNX secure devices work, and you can go through the experience of setting up uh, and commission a KNX secure installation. Lastly, you can go to the um, project and check the security tab. Over here, you will find all the uh, secure devices uh, within the project, their um, device certificates, and you can also export the keyring of this project for other purposes such as visualization. So I hope you play with the Kinect Secure uh, test bench, and then you can discover uh, new features to implement in your Kinect devices. Thank you very much.